This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News at 11 starts now. At 11. I want each and every one of you to reach in your pocket and see if you have four quarters and pull them out. Yesterday, that's what Bart offered our employees. A dollar a year. BART workers walked off the job Monday after failing to reach a contract agreement. We're hoping that the strike's going to help let off some steam. There's a lot of steam built up. Traffic chaos around the Bay Area. I have never seen Bay Bridge ever seen Bay Bridge backups like this. Frustrated commuters scramble to get to their destinations. Oh, it's going to affect me real bad. It's affecting me now. I'm two hours late for work. And what about tomorrow? Good evening, everybody. I'm Pam Moore. The BART strike day two tomorrow. BART management says it did not receive any indication that BART workers will return to work on Tuesday. Commuters are advised to make alternative transportation plans again. Here is what we know. BART says that there has been no progress in the labor negotiations with its two largest unions. Workers want a 4.5% raise annually over the next three years. BART management has offered a 2% annual raise over the next four years. Crown Force Alicia Reed spoke to former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown. Brown tells her why he would like to step in and become the mediator. BART workers united and picketed all day Monday. With trains at a standstill, the Bay Area Council says this cost the Bay Area's economy more than $73 million each day. Former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown, who was a part of the team that helped in previous BART strikes in 1997 and 2001, says he's willing to step in and mediate so a decision can be reached as soon as possible. It's very costly to all of us uh, who live in the San Francisco Bay Area. The economy of this region depends upon quality transportation to get workers and purchases to and from wherever they need to be. And clearly 400,000 people a day using BART coming in and out of San Francisco, that's a substantial number. It's got to be settled. Once the facts have been offered to somebody like myself or some other uh, interested party, but person serious enough on the issue, I think there is a solution. We'll be back. We'll be back. Reporting we'll in San Francisco, Alicia Reed, we'll Corn 4 News.